Have you heard about lava fishing but you're not sure how to get started? Are you looking for a great early game moneymaker without too many requirements? Then you've come to the right place. By the end of this video you'll have access to one of the best money making methods in Hypixel Skyblock. We did a lot better in the Nether Warp Farm build guide and an amazing 6% of the people who watched it are now subscribed. If you found this video helpful, help me by hitting that subscribe button. If you want to trick the algorithm into thinking I actually make good content, <coughs> click the like button as well. It really helps. Lava fishing was added to the Crystal Hollows and allows players to, well, fish in lava. Depending on which biome the lava is in, different sea creatures may come out. For this guide, we'll be focusing on flaming worms, which you can catch in the precursor area. Flaming worms drop warm membranes used to make gemstone chambers. Gemstone chambers require 100 worm membranes each and are used to unlock gemstone sockets on Devon's armor. Every full set of Devon's armor will require 2,000 worm membranes, so there's a lot of demand for them on the bazaar. Flaming worms have a 25% drop chance for worm membranes before the looting enchant and are the only sea creature you'll encounter if you're fishing in the correct location. Let's talk minimum requirements. You will need at least level 19 fishing to be able to catch the flaming worms and level 3 or higher heart of the mountain to be able to access the crystal hollows. Fishing can be a bit of a grind, especially during early levels when your catch speed is much lower. Some people use clay minions to generate a bit of fishing experience, at least until level 10 when you can use a better fishing rod. Clay minions are much cheaper than fishing minions to level up and provide almost as much money as snow minions. You could also level up fishing manually by fishing in water just about anywhere. Try fishing during events if you can. Fishing during Marina's shark fishing event and the yearly spooky event provide more experience than normal fishing, while ice fishing at the season of the jerry provides less experience. If you're feeling overwhelmed by all the different fishing equipment, reforges, pets, and baits, I've got a video explaining all of that in more detail. I'll link it in the description. As for Heart of the Mountain level 3, once you're level 12 mining, talk to Reese at the lowest level of the deep caverns to unlock the dwarven mines. Buy the cheapest pickaxe from Boo Boo in the building on the right for 10k, then go talk to the dwarven king to get your first commission. Each commission you complete gives you 100 Heart of the Mountain experience, and the first 4 you turn in each day gives an additional 900 each. You need 12,000 experience to get Heart of the Mountain level 3, so the easiest option is to complete 4 commissions each day on 3 separate days. When you're at least level 19 fishing in Heart of the Mountain level 3, talk to Gwendolyn to buy a pass, and use the teleport icon in your skyblock menu to access the hollows. The pass lasts for 5 hours, and if it expires, you'll need to buy another one. You're looking for lava located in the Precursor biome. That means that it has to be above Y coordinate 64. You're usually looking for a room that would spawn in the Magma Fields biome and has lava, but it needs to spawn high enough that some of that lava is above Y coordinate 64. There's a lot of different ways to find lava fishing spots, but what I do is I mine down until I'm at Y coordinate 70, and then I mine from one side of the Precursor area to the other, then turn around and do it again. I keep mining back and forth across the biome, and if I haven't found anything after a few passes, I'll try a different instance. Sometimes Kaza Doom, the area where you fight Ball, spawns directly below the precursor area. The lava that streams down from the ceiling is usually high enough to fish in. Remember, you only need one block, so it's possible to use the top block of flowing lava. Just remember to place one block below any lava you want to fish in so your lure doesn't sink through. Once you've found your lava, you'll need to build a small fishing area out of hardstone. Build a wall around any lava that you want to fish in, just in case automatons or yogs spawn. Place a 2 block high ceiling, then dig a hole on one side of the lava about 3 to 4 blocks down. If you've built your fishing area right, your sea creatures should go into the pit when you catch them. Sea creatures stay spawned for 5 minutes from the time that they're caught, so you only need to kill the flaming worms every 4 minutes or so. I've seen all kinds of different worm fishing setups, and this is just the one that I like to use. If you build this in a different way, let me know in the comments. Use whichever weapon you want, but I've learned something really interesting while testing the looting enchant. Right click abilities do not apply looting. Whatever weapon you choose, only use the left click attack. You should buy looting 4 for your weapon immediately. It is extremely cheap on the auction house, and it brings the drop rate from worm membranes from 25% to 40%. Let's talk about fishing rods. I suggest using a rod of champions if you're level 19. 
the Rod of Legends if you're between level 20 and 24, and a Rod of the Seas at level 25 and above. You can upgrade a Rod of Champions into a Rod of Legends through the Lilypad collection, then upgrade it again to the Rod of the Seas using four Great White Shark Teeth and four Enchanted Fins from Mare Marina's Shark Fishing event, or by buying them off the bazaar. Alternatively, you can use a Shredder at level 20. It costs a lot less than a Rod of the Seas, and it has 75% catch speed, but it has 0% sea creature chance instead of the 7% on the Rod of the Seas, so you get what you pay for. An epic or above level 100 dolphin holding a washed up souvenir gets 20% sea creature chance. If you have Heart of the Mountain 7, a level 100 ammonite pet holding a washed up souvenir gets 19% sea creature chance, but you also gain 0.6% fishing speed per mining level, up to 36% at level 60. The fishing speed the ammonite pet grants you is really nice, and I think up to 36% faster catch speed is absolutely worth losing 1% sea creature chance. If you're Heart of the Mountain 5 or below, I would use an Epic Dolphin for the additional sea creature chance, but you can always buy an Ammonite pet later if you want to switch. Use Fish Bait Here are some other ways to get more sea creature chance. Beacon You can craft a beacon from the Mithril Collection that you can upgrade in the Forge at the Dwarven Mines. Placing it on your island and powering it with power crystals gives you 1% sea creature chance per level of the beacon, up to 5. Power crystals can be bought off the bazaar under the fuel section, or crafted in the dwarven forge out of Starfall, dropped from Star Sentries. Cakes Several players have cakes on their islands that you can use once every 48 hours to grant you small bonuses. One of those bonuses is 1% sea creature chance. I like to do slash visit PRTL, but use whoever you like. Enrichments. You can enrich any accessory you have that's legendary rarity or above for 0.3% sea creature chance by purchasing an item at the bits shop in the hub. There are 30 accessories in the game that you can enrich, so this adds up to as much as 9% sea creature chance depending on which accessories you own. Now for the part you click this video for, how much money do I actually make per hour? Now I was able to reel in 400 catches over an hour with nearly max gear. The only increase to my catch speed I could still gain was another 3.6% from the Ammonite pet by gaining 6 more mining levels, and I don't think that realistically would have mattered. While you may be able to get a little bit more than 400 catches per hour, this is what I was able to do, and I think most people could achieve it as well. So if you assume you're reeling in 400 catches per hour, you can multiply 400 times your sea creature percent to see how many flaming worms you catch per hour. For example, if you had 43% sea creature chance, you would do 400 times 0.43 is 172. So you would expect to catch 172 flaming worms over an hour. Now worm membranes have a 25% base drop chance, and the looting enchant works on them. If you're using looting 4, which you should be, it increases the 25% drop chance by 60%, bringing it up to 40%, or 0 0.25 times 1.6, equals 0.4, or a 40% drop chance. With the example above using looting 4, you should expect 68.8 worm membranes per hour, or 5.4 million coins an hour at today's prices, if you had 43% sea creature chance. So again, that's 400 times your sea creature chance, multiplied by the drop rate. With my setup, I've got 87% sea creature chance, and I bought looting 5 to test looting for another video. I should be able to catch 348 flaming worms an hour, and they should drop 152 worm membranes. At current bazaar prices, this gets me 12 million coins. I can also purchase gemstone mixtures, then turn the membranes into gemstone chambers, and sell those onto the auction house, raising the profits to around 14 million. You don't need a max fishing setup to make good money lava fishing, and you can upgrade your fishing setup over time as you level up and make more money. Because of that, I think lava fishing is a fantastic early game money maker. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments or drop by the live streams daily on this channel. Hopefully this video helps you progress through Skyblock with a little more coin in your pockets. And if you'd like to help me, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Skyblock content. See you next time.